All right, in this video, I'm just going to give you a little more information about my 3D Time Machine Warrior tutorial. And it's on my website. It's under scifianimator.com slash WordPress. You can actually find it. And it's in the premium tutorial sections. And it's currently priced at $89.95. And you go, whoa, that's really expensive. However, if you're new to Blender and you want to learn how to program the game engine to any extent and you need some help with the math, then this tu tutorial is really a fast track way to help you get there. What you really need though is you need a basic grounding in trigonometry in order to take up this tutorial series. So you should know about radian angles of measure, trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, inverse functions, so you know how to get angles out of those as well. And not a whole lot more math is really required in order to do it. But because the essence of this tutorial is to teach you about vector math and so for instance I've I constantly upgrade this is this is one of the scenes that we use within the tutorial series to teach the vector math I use other scenes as well to teach basic physics so we can take advantage of the game engine but let's just take a look so in here I've changed this well I have a shape keys going on but and I have the radar tilted up a little bit but if I just say I have this so I can launch a missile and I arm a Patriot missile. I basically have scuds and Patriots. So you arm the Patriot and then if a scud is launched, there's a scud over there to the right. And if the radar happens to find it, then the missile will take off and shoot it down. All right? And it will constantly shoot more missiles at it like it is right there. So now I can do it with another one. See the one on the back of that truck over there to the left? That's actually a scud missile in this case. And another Patriot, one of the other ones on the right, is another Patriot. So I'm going to arm one of the other Patriots, and then I'm going to shoot that Scud on the, that's on the truck. And it's going to go, and then if the radar picks up, well, the radar already did pick it up, and then it's going to take that one out as well. You can't hear the sounds right like this. All right. And then I can add another one. There's another one in here, which did, let's see, I think it's that one and this one. So there should be another one, yeah, coming up over here. Now the third one's going to pick it up and track it as well. Well, so really what it is, if you look at it, it's in this program I teach basically how to generate synchronized sound in it and how to do enough vector math to do these kind of effects and to create basic explosive effects and you'll be able to extend it beyond what you see on here. But the tutorial is really designed to help you learn vector math and to learn how to program within the game engine. So if you're new to Blender and you want to fast track your way learning how to use this stuff, I assure you it can save you a lot of time because the one thing about Blender being open source and other open source programs is that documentation is hard to come by. You really have to fight to do it. And even with all the tutorials out there on YouTube, it's still very time consuming. So if, if you have the time, then this is the way. Now, I'm running a special through the end of November that you can get a year of membership to my website starting in January if you purchase the tutorial before the end of this month. But of uh, That's November 2013. And members, what they get is, as I keep making upgrades to this, I'll provide the members with the upgraded versions of this. It beca it's becoming more and more like a video game all the time, though that really wasn't its, its intent. And what it does allow you to do, it basically serves as a template for a video game in many ways. Well, we do scene switching in here. I show you how to do that. I show you the difficulties scoring so you you know can keep track of scores and all the other little important things. And we kind of bounce between logic bricks and uh, Python code and show you the differences. And one of the other important features, if you've seen some of the other videos I've posted recently, is that I do a lot of basic physics to, so you get a, a better grounding and understanding what all these terms are for applying motion and rotations and linear velocity and acceleration and things like that. I mean, we really break it down so, so you see how you would apply it and so you really get a much better control of what it's able to do. So, but look, if you're a, if you some, if you're somebody with advanced math, physics skills already, it's probably not as to your great advantage unless you don't know how to work with Blender and you don't know the programming. But really if you're reasonably good at computer programming I mean, and computer graphics and you need math help, this is a great stepping stone towards a lot of the other tutorials that are going to have in this series as well. So yeah, and then as I starting next year when I start putting things up on the website for members, a lot of the tutorials are going to be more math, physics, and basic engineering oriented 
tutorials. So you're going to have to have a grounding in this kind of math anyway to be able to understand those tutorials. The, otherwise, I will be posting a lot of free tutorials on YouTube still, but they won't have the same degree of technical challenge as the membership-based ones will. So, all right, so I just thought I'd point it out just in case, you know, because I'm not, I haven't really shown too much about what the tutorial is all about yet as I but I'm going to do a lot more of that here in the next six weeks as I get a little bit more time and there's probably going to be some specials in December as well and uh, maybe I might have a price discount on the tutorial as well starting in December 1st uh -huh. so all right well that's it for now I'll see you in the next video